Okay, so I've done my second of the Paxi Taxil. Can't even say it. Um, I'm hurting. What day is it today? Monday? It's Monday. And I'm hurting. My legs hurt and my teeth hurt. But bizarrely, this side of my teeth. These ones, these are all fine. But this side and, and underneath feel loose. They hurt. And then I've got this pain that comes up here. And now I've got a cold. Um, so I'm feeling pretty sorry for myself today. And then I went to the garage to get dinner because I couldn't bother to cook. And um, the woman was so lovely. She made me cry. <laughs> and I realised how amazing the kindness of strangers is, like how powerful it is. And I just feel like we should be kind more. And I know we all get frustrated in our daily life and we're late and we're busy. and But she was so lovely. And all, and all she did was ask me how I was and and put her hand on my arm and, and, and tell me how sorry she was. It was so nice. And I just wish that we could all be a bit nicer. Yeah, it's been an emotional day. <laughs> I promise not to get emotional on here, though. I had a sickness meeting at work. Which I always find hard. I don't know why. Because they're lovely. And... But it always feels like I'm being called to the headmaster's office to prove that I'm ill. No, I don't know. It's, it's clearly my issue. It's not theirs and I don't suppose they could do anything different and they were lovely you know and supportive and kind and and embrace the idea of India as well I was a bit nervous about that um hopefully I've got enough leave to to use to do it um the more I think about India the more I feel I need to do it to draw a line under this. Bella was asking me to dance with her earlier. I just couldn't do it. My legs hurt so much. I could hardly stand. And none of my painkillers seemed to touch it. I think I'm going to have to speak to my GP. And one of the nurses suggested getting some Oromorph. I, oh, I feel like I've kind of failed somehow if I need to ask for drugs. That's a bit foobald, really, isn't it? But I just... I think I've I've done so well up until now to manage it. But I'm tired now. And I think it's making the pain worse. The pain's probably the same. Pain probably hasn't changed. But I have. I'm really bored of hurting. And I've got this stupid cold and I'm annoyed about that because I've tried so hard to keep my immune system strong and I'm determined to, to keep my keep my appointments so that I finish on the 29th of November. And then as soon as the pain and everything's done, that's it. It's Christmas. And I'm so excited. I'm excited to, to be well for Christmas and maybe have some hair. Oh, now controversial... Also, because this is just fluff, this is like crazy soft. And when it's windy, I feel I look, doing that, I look a little bit like Yoda. <laughs> Nowhere near as wise. Um, I'm wondering whether my last chemo, I shave it all again. Um, so that maybe it'll come back thicker. What do we think about that? Is that just a bit weird? Um, yeah, because I just want to start it start growing and be thick and hopefully not be grey. That's um that's the hope anyway. So I'm seeing the um oncologist um on Thursday 
fingers crossed, I'll get my dates for the radiotherapy. And then I'll be able to book India. So I'm hoping for uh, end of February, middle of February, something like that. Uh, f um, to, so February, March. Um, so thank you guys to, to everyone that's given me money. I, um, I've i kind of realised today I don't do very well with kindness. I don't... I think I don't... Um, I don't feel like I deserve it, maybe. Um, I don't look after myself very well. And I never have. And I'm, I never put me first. And I don't understand why people have given me money. It's incredible. 100% it's incredible, don't get me wrong. I just don't feel worthy of it. Um, but I'm going to go to India. And I'm hoping to... Perhaps find some self-worth while I'm out there and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> be the woman that my family needs me to be and hopefully my girls will feel the difference and have self-worth too I don't know. I think India is going to be great for well. <laughs> I say great. I say that in the in the loosest sense. You know, I'm going to be poor, really poorly, and I'm really anxious about that. I I'm a planner, and I can't plan this. I don't I don't fully know how it's going to affect me. But I think mentally I need some time out. I need to stop. I don't feel like I've ever done that. And I've had some interesting experiences in my life. Some big life-changing experiences in my life and... Um, I think it will be good to stop and get off, uh, get off this crazy uh, roller coaster ride. Uh oh, I leaked. I'm sorry. Um, that life is, um, and then come back hopefully with hair. And feel strong and rested and ready to take on my kids and anything that they want. And I think I'm going to make a list of, of things to achieve. I think it's really easy to get caught up in the everyday life of, oh, I've got to get the kids from school, got to make the dinner... Right, got to tidy up, got to get the kids into bed, got to make dinner, okay, got to do the ironing, oh, look, it's 10 o'clock, right, got to go to bed, got to get up, got to go to work. And you get caught in that cycle of never-ending crap. And I need, I need this to make a difference to our lives. Don't get me wrong, obviously all those things still need to happen and I'm I'm not saying that every day needs to be miraculous and and an adventure. But I do think there needs to be an element of that and not stressing about those little things. So I'm gonna make a list of things that I want to achieve in the year. Um Maybe climb a mountain. Um, do something active, you know. Oh, I'm not going to run. I'm not going to say I'm going to run. I hate running. 
My cousin, God bless her, she is running every day for 100 days. Lucy, I think you're amazing. I genuinely do. Crackers. But amazing. Um, and it's freezing. And she does it last thing at night or first thing in the morning. That's determination. And I think that's what I need to find. I, um, I'm very easily swayed. I let doubt come in and go, oh, I can't do that or, or whatever. And so I don't. And then I eat crap and drink or, you know, whatever. But I need to start fueling my body, but also my mind. And this has to be life changing. Otherwise, there's no point. There's no point this... Me getting away with this. This could have been so much worse. This is my. This has to be my wake up call. So ideas, please, of things that perhaps I could change or do differently or focus on. I don't know. I don't know. What would you change? If or what would you want to change? And maybe I don't know. Maybe some of us can get together and make those changes. I um I know I'm not social, I know I don't go out enough, I don't I meet with few people um because I don't have the confidence, I don't I doubt myself and I assume that, that you will doubt me too and I'd like that to change. I have no idea how I change that. But yeah, maybe maybe some of us can come together and do something, something different. So yeah, I look forward to any ideas. Um, this clearly has become my midlife crisis. <laughs> um, and I've just realised how mad it is. I've got no eyebrows. Um, my friend walked in the other week and went... <gasps> You look like a cancer patient now. And it's because I haven't coloured in my eyebrows. Really should do that more. So, anyway, I digress. I just wanted to say hi. Because I felt really low today. And sorry for myself. And I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that person. Hopefully tomorrow the pain will be less. And then... It's just two more.